So the title of the lab is Weathering Chalk, and the problem that we're looking at is how can we simulate the weathering of chalk? Now, chalk in geology is a kind of limestone. So if anyone's familiar with the white cliffs of Dover in the south of England, these are made of chalk. But chemically, chalk is quite similar to chalk that we used to use to write on blackboards. So we're going to use weathering of blackboard chalk to simulate the weathering of the rock chalk. Thinking about the problem, the problem is, is how can we simulate the weathering, the chemical weathering of chalk? And we're going to look at three different factors. We're going to look at how weathering is affected by acidity, by comparing vinegar and water. And then we're going to look at weathering the, the effect of surface area on weathering by comparing chalk of different sized, different different sizes, pieces of different sizes. And then we're going to think about, investigate the effect of temperature on chemical weathering by, if we're using acid in chalk, by using it at two different temperatures. So, what I want for each of the different variables, acidity, surface area and temperature, is that you write a prediction. What do you think will happen in the experiment comparing vinegar and water? What do you think will happen comparing chalk of different piece size? And what do you think will happen comparing chalk of weathering of chalk at different temperatures? So don't copy this. Just write down what you think will happen. Okay, so what you have to do now is decide uh, how to test your first hypothesis, the one about acidity, and write down the steps you have to carry out, and then do the same for surface area, and then do the same for temperature. And remember that change only one variable in each procedure. So each, each experiment, each of these three, one, two, three, should basically have two, two beakers. Mm -hmm. Comparing vinegar and water for the first, small pieces, big pieces for the second, comparing low temperature, higher temperature for the third. So for each for each experiment, you should be able to put your data into a table. So you have one table for each experiment, one for acidity, surface area, and one for temperature. And before you start to do the experiment, you should have these tables in your journals. Now, I can just say a word of warning. For the first group who did this experiment, they tried to measure mass change to measure the, the weathering. And the idea was that if chalk is weathered, then the mass of the chalk will decrease. However, it didn't really work well, and the reason was that dry chalk put into water or into vinegar I gained weight because it, because it absorbed some of the water. So actually we didn't see a, really a change in a decrease in mass. What we observed was that the mass increased. So that way didn't really work very well. So maybe you want to try another, another way to uh, measure weathering. Perhaps looking at the, trying to estimate the number of, uh, the amount of bubbles produced and maybe uh, putting that on a scale where one on the scale is no bubbles produced, no bubbles of gas produced, and five on the scale would be a lot of bubbles produced, something like that. The next stage of the write-up is the analysis, and in the analysis you analyse your data, say what it means, and 
In this section, if possible, try to summarize your data in a graph. So you could use the Math Skills Handbook on page 798, 799 to help you dis decide which type of graph to use. And in your analysis, decide with your reasons if your hypotheses were correct or not. And of course, we finish with conclusions. And conclusions should include a statement of what you learned, a statement of what you would do if you do differently, if you did the experiment again, and identify variables and controls in the experiment. Now don't worry if your experiment didn't work as well as you would like. If it didn't work very well then your redo statement should be, should be quite an uh, easy thing to write because you can write ideas of how to do the experiment in ways that would give better results. So don't worry if, if the experiment didn't work out as you had hoped.